Today's video content is designed to give you a sample play from our new offensive ebook entitled From the Ground Up, A Complete Offensive Guide to Madden NFL Football. Uh, for those of you guys that are new to our YouTube channel, uh, I want to go ahead and introduce ourselves here. My name is Cody, and this community is basically that, just a community of gamers, and our goal here is to try to improve our game in Madden NFL 16 and we do it through a variety of different types of content one of the ways that we do it is through offensive and defensive ebooks and today we are releasing uh, our complete offense and it's an offense we've been working on for quite some time now I think we've been working on it since October maybe maybe a little maybe a little after that but we've been working on it for about a month and a half at least probably closer to two to three months right now and we put together something, in my opinion, that is very difficult to stop. It's something that, in my opinion, can't be stopped. And uh, I really highly recommend it. Um, if you're having trouble beating two man under in Men 16, this guide is going to crush it. Uh, we're going to flat out teach you how to beat two men under. Uh, we have over, over two hours of video content just on the playbook alone. And then we also have, I think, one or two sample games. So it going, it's going to give you an overall value of about four to five hours worth of video content, as well as uh, I think about 25 pages of written content, written material. So, guys, this is just a must must pick up. Uh, if you're having trouble beating two men under, if you're having trouble beating uh, those heavy pressure blitzes, you know, pretty much anything, guys, this guy is going to be it for you. Uh, and this guy, you can get this. It's in the description below. You can find it there. And it's only $13, guys. Only $13 for over four hours of content. In my opinion, that's more than reasonable. And, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, uh, but let's get into a sample play and kind of show you. And this is going to serve as a bonus play because it's a play that I found after the guide was released. But it's something that was so good, I couldn't help myself. I had to at least talk about it somewhere. And uh, so we're going to use... Um, the uh, dime 146 here today to show you a defense so the defenses we're going to discuss is cover two and two man under and the play is the shotgun wing trips weak and really what you want to do is in this kind of you know running back slot here you want to put a guy that can catch the ball uh, you know you can put Jackson in here you can put Rawls in here I'm going to try to go with Rawls here and then right here you want a fast receiver so like Tyler Lockett or you could even put Doug Baldwin in there, but I go with Tyler Lockett. And, uh, the, again, we are in the St. Louis Rams playbook, excuse me, and we're in the shot and wing trips week. Now, there's a couple of plays here. The first one I want to show you is Mountain Wide Dig. And to show you this play, uh, you want to back the ball up. This is one of those big play type of plays, right? And the first thing I want to show it to you uh, from is a two-man under perspective. Now, the only hot route you make on this play is you're going to take Tyler Lockett and you're going to put him on a streak. Now, a lot of guys from their two men under are going to man align and press. And what you're going to see here is it's going to be a pretty solid type of defense, right? Most people are running this this season. When you snap the ball, Rawls is going to go in motion. And as you can see here, nobody follows him outside. And so an easy pass lead to the outside is going to be an option. Now what this is going to force your opponent to do is it's going to force them to base align their defense. Well, once they base align their defense from a cover two man perspective, it changes things, right? So here um, you're going to see I'm base aligning my cover two man and you see that I can't, I can't do anything, right? The auto motion play really glitches the two man under out. And uh, as you can see here, we set it up. Now this is an easy tell that it is two man under, so we could easily say we're going to put Tyler Lockett on a smart route of hitch route and beat man that way but you know just using Thomas Rawls and here you see the man switch now the mans are going to switch and what that's going to do is it's basically going to give you a mismatch okay so it's going to give you the mismatch again what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to call two men under they're going to base a line and they're going to press thinking that that's going to stop what you're going to do and what you're going to see here is there's the switch and you see that this underneath route is going to be able to help you if they baseline and press that two men under that little underneath like little drag kind of angle route here to curse 
is going to do a good job. So here we'll show it to you one more time. And this is against cover two. And Russell Wilson's accuracy is pathetic in this game. But it, that's that's the basic principle. Now, if they're off coverage, this play torches everything. So off coverage, you're going to see this really becomes deadly. Um, as you can see here, again, you have this pat, this quick throw to Rawls. Now, I recommend having a quarterback with good accuracy, deep accuracy for this. So unfortunately, Russell Wilson's not the best in this game. But if you pass lead it to the left here, you're going to see that that's where you're wanting it to hit it. And, of course, you know, Rawls. So Seattle's probably not the best team to show you this with, but you can set your mutt lineup accordingly. I have a Team of the Week edition, Matt Stafford, throwing the ball to football outsider Theo Riddick on this play, and it's deadly. As you can see, there's that quick throw. So that's if they man line and press. And a lot of people do man line and press their team and under. Now, what if... What if, for example, you say, okay, well, we're going to not, we're going to base the line and press our team under. They're going to be feeling kind of weird because, again, zone, as you can see here, this is zone coverage, and now they're actually able to base the line and press their defense. So the only time the corner is going to be outside is if they're running a zone coverage. Let me show you, for example, if they go, man, you're going to see, I'm still in base the line and press alignment, but you see the corner comes inside. So that's a huge deal, in my opinion, because it tells you man or zone, right? It tells you man or zone, especially for press coverage. If they, so what they're going to eventually have to do is they're going to have to just leave it man aligned and press, and they're going to have to run zone. So what they'll do is they'll go to their cover two, and they'll man align and press it. That's what a lot of people will do. And this is why we put Tyler Lockett on a streak route. The cover two is going to have a really hard time with that. Here's why. So you motion Rawls out like this, and look who's wide open up the seam. Mr. Tyler Lockett is wide open up the seam. Now, another thing, and here he dropped the ball, of course, classic. But another route that you're going to be able to hit here is you're also going to be able to hit this underneath route to Curse, but another one is this route to Rawls. As you can see, against Manaline, you're still able to get that outside pass lead. So Manaline doesn't do anything. So now they're just going to have to leave it stock. And leaving the stock ain't going to do anything either. As you see here, I leave the defense stock. I still, I now have that outside positioning, but now it's going to give me an inside pass lead to Tyler Lockett. And with good speed, I am off to the races, as you can see here. So this is a great play to come out in in big passing situations, especially if you're having a hard time beating two men under. In my opinion, this play does a phenomenal job uh, of doing it. As you can see, this is an inside pass lead to Tyler Lockett against number two. It's phenomenal. Now, what they're going to do is, of course, they're going to go to cover three, right? Because that's what everybody does is they go to this cover three. Well, cover three is going to be a very similar result. Cover three probably does the best out of any of them, but um, basically you're going to hit this underneath crosser to curse against the cover three. Pretty much what you're going to do. Um, you know, this is a really phenomenal play. Now, the cool part is, in this one formation, you have verticals, and if you, it's a very it's subtle switch, switch, and so if they go to cover three, well, you say, okay, I got verticals. Ain't no big deal. I got verticals. I can throw those. Simple. Okay? And what I like to do is, you can actually use the same motion to Rawls, even when you're running verticals. So we're just going to motion Rawls to the right, and what you're going to see is, He's going to come out like this, just like he was running that. It's going to create the same issue, and you're going to be able to hit these vertical routes. So now, all of a sudden, they are in a very, very precarious position. Uh, another cool feature of this formation is that the run audible down is not a halfback draw, but it is a halfback power O. Uh, and as you can see here, the well, we didn't get a great block in there, of course, but normally... You get pretty good blocking with this play, uh, in my experience, and it allows you kind of that inside zone with a pulling guard. So as you can see, if they go all out coverage defense, you know they're still going to have some issues. But um, you know, really, and the only chance they have is a baseline alignment, and it has to be two men under, and it has to be baseline. So they baseline press out of a two men under look. Now the key is to notice that this LOS linebacker here, if I can. Click on to him. This guy right here, Finnegan, 
keys up on a line like this, they kind of flip flop. That's your tell. So once you see this, you just put Tyler Lockett on a hitch route. And if you hit that low pass lead, he's going to catch it. And it's going to be an easy read. So, guys, this. Oh, and then one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, I wanted to show you cover one. And to do this, we're just going to. We're just going to take this guy, put him in a deep blue, and act as if he were a safety. It's going to work the same way. I just you know, want to save some time. So this is cover one, single high safety, right? Watch what happens. So you put Rawls on that streak. He's coming outside one. He's going to get matched up with a safety or someone like that. Just uh, no pass lead, just a lob. And he's going to be able to run underneath that typically. Again, if you have a more accurate quarterback, it's going to work a little better. But as you can see, it, it is something that's a nice look. He's going to basically just beat him off the line of scrimmage. Um, but the best feature, in my opinion, is the ability to just get rid of that ball quick into the outside. So that is the uh, play. I want to show you one other one that I've actually been using. Um, and it's for the guys that, like, start baseline pressing the two-man under base, right? Um, and that's this play, halfback sluggo. So we set it up very similar. In fact, almost the same. So cover two man. Uh, and what you'll see here, all the, um, basically, if I put roll, like if rolls comes out here, watch what happens. So this is against basic man. Now, again, you're going to get the same kind of thing. He's going to get that little jab step in. Now, see, that's not too good of a look, right, if it's just your standard man. it's when, But it's when they've been establishing that they're going to go with this baseline press type of man, right? This is what you're going to see. So you put Lockett on that streak route, and then everything else is the same, right? Well, when he comes out here, so he's going to be matched up with that corner, and he's going to get that outside position, and that's what you're looking for, right? That's what you're looking for. Now, um, it, you know, again, the one issue with this with this specific play, unfortunately, is that it does require a decent quarter to throw it. Um, you see Russell Wilson may not quite do it for me here, but he's just going to jab in, come out, and then you pass that to the left, and you see that's your catch. That's what you're looking at right there. You see that great separation you're going to get. So that's kind of your way of countering them, base aligning, covering, and, and using the cover two man. Now, if it goes low, um, they're a lot more better off against this play than they are against your other one, uh, specifically to uh, the left side of the screen. But you still can get some things in. So this is cover two defense. And you see that here, that ball goes is actually going to be wide open. It's a little later read than I would probably like it to be. But it still is an option. And then against cover three, as I throw my mic on the ground here, but against cover three, uh, what you're going to see is just jab step in out kind of animation. And then there you see it. It's kind of a really tender spot of the defense. So those two plays in combination with one another, they really do a lot of damage to the defense, especially just standard if you're running against, you know, guys that like to use, you know, your basic cover three, you know, or your basic cover two, those kind of defenses. You know, this definitely becomes an option in my opinion, and uh, definitely don't sleep on this, because this is a really, really good play. Um, you need to have that streak to Tyler Lockett, though. Because that streak to Tyler Lockett is going to run the defender off, basically. And the cool part about this is the RS route of the slot R1's route is that vertical type of route. So against cover three, you're going to see here, you're going to have a chance of just outrunning people with Tyler Lockett, as you can see there. So this is just a really good play, in my opinion, um, and something that I should have put in the guide, but I didn't. But it is resemblant upon what kind of power plays you're going to be able to get in the guide. And uh, I really look forward to hearing your guys' reviews of the offense specifically. The defense is phenomenal too. And uh, we actually have a bundle in which you can purchase the offense and the defense. And this is in the description. You can purchase the offense and the defense for uh, uh, only $20. Instead of you know 26 or 30 or whatever it would be, it's only $20. So the offense itself is 13 but for only $7, yeah. we can get our updated defense version. I'm telling you, this updated defense is so, so, so good. So can check those things out and also go uh, and get If you don't want to pay for these, it's perfectly understandable, and I understand that. 
um, you can stick to the free content and you can access the free content by subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, you can hit that button below and subscribe. If you are subscribed and you just want to show your support uh, for the channel, I recommend sharing this video with other people um, to give them the option to purchase the guide. But anyways, guys, thank you so much, so much, so much for watching this video. And I really, truly hope that the guides are uh, very good for you. I think they will be. I did them a little differently this time, and I think they're a lot better done. I think they're a lot better, easier to understand. So hopefully you like them. But uh, let me know what you guys think about the guides here. And, uh, again, you can get those. The links are in the description for you. And, uh, guys, I think, it's, I think it's just a really good purchase, in my opinion. So we'll see.